Okay, so now let's look at Kirchhoff's laws. Kirchhoff's laws, as well as Ohm's law, are gonna be the fundamental things that you absolutely have to understand for electricity. If you can understand these three, you'll find the rest of electricity very, very easy because it's all just applications of these three laws. So Kirchhoff has two laws. So Kirchhoff can be split into Kirchhoff's current law and then Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now Kirchhoff's current law says that the sum of all currents going into a junction must be equal to the sum of all currents coming out of the junction. Which is a very wordy way to put it. Basically what that means is if we have some junction where we have something in parallel, this right here is what we call the junction. Okay, it can sometimes be referred to as a node, um, but most of the time we just call it a junction. If we say we have 10 amps of current coming into this junction here and it splits up here, it means that we have to have, if this is seven amps, this ampage has to be three amps in order for it to add up to be um, 10 amps. And they can do this in various one mark questions. They might give you uh, a multitude of arrows and say that this is coming in and this is coming in and this is going out and this is going out. They might say this is 10, this is 5, uh, this is uh, 7, what's this last x one? And then you just have to say that all of the ones going in, so 10 and 5, so 15 must be equal to 7 plus something in order to give you uh, 15. And so we know 7 plus 8 is 15. And so that has to be 8 amps. All of these are in amps. And that's Kirchhoff's current law. And this is basically a conservation of charge. It helps us to explain how um, current will be the same everywhere in a series circuit, but when it's in a parallel circuit, it will split because this would be your parallel circuit. Current can only travel in one direction. It can't be simultaneously traveling down two different wires. Kirchhoff's voltage law says that all of the, the sum of all the EMFs going into any loop is equal to the sum of potential difference coming out of that loop. And so this is a conservation of energy, where this is a conservation of charge. So if we take a value for, uh, if we take a series circuit with some resistance, this is the, the source of the EMF. This is gonna be the battery. Let's say the battery has an EMF of 10 volts. It then says that if the battery going in has a EMF of 10 volts, the potential across this resistor also has to be 10 volts because this is our loop here. And so the total EMF coming in has to equal the total EMF coming out. If we then had a second loop where we could add more resistors onto here, this would then be a second loop. And so even in this, we have to say that the total potential coming in has to be equal to the total potential coming out. The only tricky part here is that the current is going to travel in two different directions through these resistors. So you will have a minus 10 volts through one resistor and plus 10 volts in the other resistor because your total EMF in this um, loop is actually zero because there's no battery giving in any energy into this one. And so your potential lost in this direction is actually negative of what your potential will be lost in this direction purely because your current will have more energy going in this way and less coming in this way. Whereas in this case, when we're measuring it in the opposite direction, it will have um, more energy this way and less energy this way, which is the same. But because you're traveling in opposite directions, it counts as a negative potential difference. And instead of gaining the potential, you're actually losing the potential. And those are Kirchhoff's laws. If you can understand those and then get your head around Ohm's law as well, you will be able to fully understand anything in electricity, including internal resistance, which seems to be the one topic that most people hate. And so if you have any more questions about this or any um, other topics that you want us to go through, leave them in the comment section down below and we'll see you next time.